so much. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Vice President, members of Congress, we're in the middle of the longest streak of private sector job creation in history. More than 14 million new jobs, the strongest two years of job growth since the 1990s, an unemployment rate cut in half. We need every American to stay active in our public life and not just dirt. to imitate the hatred and violence of tyrants and murderers is the best way to take their place. When politicians insult Muslims, whether abroad or our fellow citizens, when a mosque is vandalized or a kid is called names, that doesn't make us safer. That's not telling it, what, telling it like it is. It's just wrong. It diminishes us in the eyes of the world. It makes it harder to achieve our goals. It betrays who we are as a country. Our foreign policy has to be focused on the threat from ISIL and Al-Qaeda, but it can't stop there. For even without ISIL, even without Al-Qaeda, instability will continue for decades in many parts of the world, in the Middle East, in Afghanistan, in parts of Pakistan, in parts of Central America and Africa and Asia. Some of these places may become safe havens for new terrorist networks. Others will just fall victim to ethnic conflict or famine, feeding the next wave of refugees. The world will look to us to help solve these problems. And our answer needs to be more than tough talk or calls to carpet bomb civilians. That may work as a TV soundbite, but it doesn't pass muster on the world stage. It means seeing our foreign assistance as a part of our national security, not something separate, not charity. When we lead nearly two... Thing one last time. I would like oh, to. Oh, yeah. 